Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Talking Tractors with me, Raznak. And today we're going to be looking at some great tractors from Russia. From Mother Russia. Okay, that's as much Russian accent as you're going to get out of me. If that even was a Russian accent. I'm not a voice actor. I don't even pretend to play one. What you hear is the sultry sounds of mine. My nasally voice. That's, that's what you get to hear. Uh, but we're going to be looking at the Kirovets tractors, specifically the K700A and the Kirovets K744R4, which is the newer one in the middle. Uh, these are articulated 4x4 four four tractors. They've been built in St. Petersburg, Russia for over 50 years. Since about, I think the 1960s, they started building these things. So I've been building them a very, very long time. Um... As for the company itself, sorry, I lost track of my thought there. The company itself, these, like I said, St. Petersburg, Russia, these built by the Kirov plant or what they call the Kirov factory or they call LKZ or the Leningrad Kirov plant, a few different names for it. Um, plant's been around since 1789 and then in its current site in St. Petersburg, 1801, uh, they actually started making cannonballs in the 1800s that's what this plant made. So it's been there a very, very long time. Uh, in the late 1800s, it was purchased by a gentleman named Nikolay Pudilov and named the Pudilov Company, where they produced railway stock, uh, rolling stock for railways. Uh, did really well during the Industrial Revolution. In the 1900s, they started producing artillery for the Imperial Russian Army. And then um, in 1970, by 1917, they were the largest enterprise in the city of St. Petersburg. So very, very important factory for St. Petersburg. Um, again, the 1900s, they produced artillery, um, railway stuff. And then during World War I, they expanded into some early mechanized vehicles for World War I, um, but right after World War I, they started producing Soviet tractors. Uh, it is the first, the first Soviet tractors were actually produced in this factory, and they were based off the Fordson tractor. They actually called it the Fordson Put Putilovets, um, but if you know what a Fordson tractor looks like, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. If not, just Google Fordson and look at it. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and then during World War II, they produced the KV-1 tank, and now more modern, they actually produce what's called the Darts T-98 Combat Luxury Vehicle. It looks like a fancy Hummer, pretty much. Uh, you can look that up. Again, it's the Darts T-98 Combat Luxury Vehicle. It's pretty cool looking. i look at it. Um, I'm going to try not to say um so much. <laughs> <laughs> factories currently in operation again they produce tractors escalators i know it's kind of weird and artillery it also says etc because i'm sure there's stuff that uh they can't talk about revenue uh in 2016 was 36.7 million operating income 9.46 million net income is 6.57 million dollars and yeah that kind of brings us up to date what we're going to look at is we're going to look at like uh, two tractors, the K700A, which is being has been built since 1962. In some form or fashion, this articulated 4x4 tractor has been built for a very long time. It really hasn't changed too much in its look since the 1960s. Now, the internal components and some of the technology has changed as things, things have gotten better. But the actual kind of look and appearance of the tractor has been kind of very similar for a long time. So that's the K700A. We're going to take a look at it in the field. We'll talk about the history of it a little bit and the mod itself, where you can get the mod, things of that nature. And after that, we're going to take a look at the newer version, which is currently being built. And uh, it's non, you can't purchase it here in the United States, but if you, if you look on their website, um, you can actually look at the different makes, models, prices, etc., of this current tractor and it's pretty interesting how much those go for in US dollars. I think you're going to be surprised. Um, we know how much these big articulated tractors cost here in the States so you're, I think you're going to be pretty surprised when we get there. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll start out first with the K700A. We'll look at it working in the field. We'll talk a little bit about it and then we'll move on from there. All right, up next, the K700A. All 
Right, the K700 series, or more specifically for this mod, the K700A. Again, built in St. Petersburg, Russia, from 1962 to 2002. So 40 years they made this model of tractor. Um, this came standard with a YAMZ, we'll call YAMS, <laughs> 238 eight cylinder turbocharged diesel that put out originally a 225 horsepower. Uh, eventually other variations became available and you actually can get uh, K710s up to 500 horsepower. So anywhere from 225 horsepower to 500 horsepower. Had a four speed power shift transmission with 16 forward and eight reverse. Uh, 169 gallon fuel tank, a cab standard, uh, again, 4x4 four four articulated tractor. It weighed anywhere from 26,010 pounds to 28,240 pounds. So a pretty pretty monster tractor. Um, for the original price, I can't tell you. It, it's near impossible to find. But you can find these online, uh, used, uh, depending upon what condition they are. Of course, the model, the horsepower, so forth. But I saw them anywhere from... Most of these are 1980s models, like mid 80s to early 90s, the ones I found, were anywhere from $10,000 to $35,000. Uh, so pretty inexpensive for the big tractor that it is. And of course they had lots of hours on them. Most of these had over 2,500 hours, the ones that were for sale online. And you could find them in places like Poland, Germany, places in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, definitely. But yeah, the K700A. Beautiful tractor. Has a really, really good sound to it. Um, some great details. Just kind of swing around it here so you take a look at the tractor. You can see it has uh, connections here for the drawbar. Actually hydraulic hose connections, which I think is really nice in this model. I've seen other models that don't have that. Very cool. Great details, we'll jump inside here. Very, very detailed interior. Um, a lot of these are just kind of blurry, but this one's pretty cool. It's got all kinds of neat little stuff in here. Can you hear me? It's got the headphones so that you don't go deaf. Probably because this thing doesn't, is loud. It is definitely, definitely loud. We'll listen to it kind of change its sounds. You can see there's a lot of animations in cab there. See, so he's changing, changing gears, which I thought was very, very cool. But it's a beautiful, beautiful mod. And in fact, about the mod, we talked about the tractor. We'll talk about the mod a little bit. The mod name is the Curavets K700A. Um, mod, you can find this on modhoster.com. The file size is 16.9 megabyte, megabytes, so it has been uh, optimized for FS19. It's a very small file size for what you get. Um, and it, by SFM Modding and Erlan 10, that's in the mod description, That the, those are the credits that it's giving to. And then I'll provide a link down below for it. Um, i tell you what, we'll jump to our other one. Uh, here again, another version of the K700A that I've set up. Um, just with the sing these are the wide tires instead of the dual standards, but you could, it startup's really cool. Has a great sound to it. Really great sound to it. There's no IC controls. Now you do have controls for the, uh, the, the three point here. I thought there was, yep, three point. We'll kill the engine. We'll actually jump in the shop real quick and take a look at it. So it's under large tractors. And here it is. So 78,000, the K700A. We'll jump in here. You have different uh, color options. It's not the full palette of colors, which I think is pretty cool, but you can get, um, you know, any, just you can change the colors, which is, oh, 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 major malfunction. Um, so color change, we're not going to go about that. You can get uh, different safety frames on it. 
as you can see here, uh, GPS, that's a mod. So different engine setups. So on this mod, you can get anywhere from 235 to 400 horsepower. That's what's available. Again, it's just based upon the engine size. You can get additional lighting. There's four different lighting options, or you can get all four of them at once. You can see there's there's those. Design two, which I think is the back. And you get beacons, all different kinds of stuff. We're not gonna, uh, external tuning. I think has to do with the pipes or the stuff that goes on the outside. Like here's some wheel chalks. Here looks like a, a large uh, extended dust intake. I mean, just some different options here for external, internal. Um, that's in the cab. Standard. You can actually see the stuff in the cab moves around the little bags and things of that nature. And of course, wheels. You got twin wheels, wide tires, two different versions of wide. Looks like those are Midas's and Michelin, so two different wides, and then back to standard and standard twins. So, a lot of different options with that mod. Definitely, definitely a very, very, very cool mod. Uh, worth checking out. I think it's a great mod. Uh, one of the better Russian mods I've seen in a while. Yeah, the K700A. We're going to move on to its newer version, the K744. See you in a second. Now we're looking at the K744R4 Premium. Uh, again, by Kirovets, same company. This is uh, built, and again, in St. Petersburg, Russia, starting in 2014 to currently being produced. It's a still current model production vehicle. Uh, these come in at 428 horsepower, and according to the website, they're only $220,000 US dollars. That's it. $220,000 for 428 horsepower. That is really cheap if you look at similar sized tractors uh, built by uh, domestic producers. Uh, this tractor of this size, I mean, you're, you're going to pay over $400,000 for it. Now, I don't know about the quality. <laughs> Of that 428 horsepower. I don't know much about these tractors. I, you can buy them all over Central Western Europe, um, and then Southeast Asia. Also, parts of uh, you can you can they export there as well. Uh, definitely not here in the states. I'm I'm sure for political reasons you can't find these tractors, but they're it's really really cool tractors. Uh, there's a couple versions of this mod out here. This one specifically I stuck with because it didn't have any issues and it's more high def. Uh, we'll talk more about the mod in a second. So again, the K744R4, 428 horsepower. This is powered by a Mercedes-Benz six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. Has a four-speed power shift transmission, 16 forward, eight reverse. Top speed at 18 miles an hour. Uh, four by four articulated chassis, cab standard, with air conditioning, it all comes standard. Again, two hundred twenty thousand thousand um, dollars, and that's really all the information I could find about this tractor. There wasn't tons available in English, and I really didn't feel like translating <laughs> the PDF files so that I could read more about the tractor. Um, as for the mod itself, it's a very very detailed mod. The mod is the Kirovets K seven four four. P4 Premium version 1.0.0.1. It was by Voika 13 and Alua 74. The original mod, it was converted by Cheb Mods to FS19. And the detail is really, really nice. The mod uh, file size is around 70 megabytes, so it's pretty big. But you can see the Mercedes Benz logo on the engine. It's really, really cool. Um, we'll just walk around the tractor real quick. Has some nice decals. Um, really nice little touches with the hoses and the, and the stickers, all that. You can see it has functioning attachments here for the hoses. All that stuff. I, I picked this one up because I, I attached it to the Lemkin over there, the Cedar, and it the hoses don't show up. So it might, that's probably a mod issue, and that's original Giants mod, so I wouldn't be surprised. But you can see this one here, the hoses do attach. It's pretty nice. Again, really nice decals. Uh, there's some IC controls, and we'll jump inside the cab real quick. 
So when you jump in, there's some animations right there that come down. Fire it up. Sounds like a big modern tractor. You can see there's uh, some motion inside the engine. Uh, fan turns. You got a drive shaft. And then when you move, you can see down here the, the shaft there spins. Uh, we'll detach it from there. We'll jump inside the cab. Again, a nice detailed cab. Has functioning lights. Has some neat little details. You got your water bottle, your phone. And there's a few IC controls. This panel comes up. And you can see it has real-time um, like tack and, and uh, if you look at the the gears like forward one, two, three, which I thought was pretty cool. And again in reverse and low and high four-wheel drive. And then you can turn this off and on. That's a pretty neat feature. The other IC control is the door, so you can open and close the door. <laughs> I like the plaid curtains. I think they're kind of cool. Now the only thing, the only drawback I have to this mod is the physics is kind of bumpy and I'll show you what I mean um, when you're moving with it it works great but we'll attach this this planner here you probably can see the see how it, it kind of bounces it's almost like the wheel collisions aren't aren't quite right for some reason um, again, I, I don't know enough about mods to know specifically what it is. Uh, we didn't check the lights on the last one, but you have functioning lights. And I like them. They're the kind of those yellow, the yellowy tint ones. So let's turn this on. Put this guy to work here. Got our helper working. Again, we'll take a look at it. It's really, really nice, nice looking mod. It's it's beautifully done. Um, great detail. Everything works great. As far as I can tell. <laughs> In my short, limited amount of playing, we'll let him keep planning. And while we're doing that, we'll jump into the shop and take a look at it in the shop. So we'll go over here to the K744P4. Oh, no, this is the wrong one. So I have two of these mods installed. This is the other one. Um, and you can see it's not as detailed as, as the, the one we're going to look at. And it has less features. The only difference is, is you can raise the hood on this one. And I, I just I wasn't happy with it. Uh, so I didn't showcase it. But the only problem with this one is the price is only $35,000. I don't understand why people, they go all all this work into making these beautiful detailed mods and then the price is just really screwed up. Um, but the nice thing about this is you have different color options. You do yellow, orange, or red, uh, different rim color options. And then as for the design, I have no idea what this means, but it puts some kind of little front attacher here. I don't even know what that's for. Couldn't even begin to tell you. And then you have the different wheel setups. So just pretty much standards and twins that you can go with on those. And then the GPS, of course, is a separate mod. So not as many options as the other tractor. And the price is way off. <laughs> but if you're wanting a 428 horsepower tractor for your game and you don't want to pay much for it, it's perfect. But beautiful, beautiful mod in its appearance. Again, uh, file size is 60. The file size on that other one, I'll, I'll go back to it again. Again, another reason why I didn't like it and I didn't want to show it and link it. The file size on this one is like 125 megabytes. So, And it doesn't look near as good. There's no decals. Um, it's by a different mod author. It has the same, almost exact same file name. It's kind of weird. Kind of weirdness. Um, Again, the shop images aren't that great, but pretty nice. And it fits well for the the series, the talking tractors for the history of it. We're going to jump back over to this beast, which I love it. I love this tractor. This thing's awesome. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed talking with you, sharing a little bit about the, the tractors and the mods themselves. You can find links to the mods down in the description. Uh, don't don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. 
and let me know if you like the talking tractors. I hope to keep doing this when I find tractor mods that I think are pretty cool and different and that we can do some of the history of. I, I really enjoy doing it. I like looking into it and finding more about it. Gosh, that thing's loud. Jump over here where it's nice and quiet. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Kiravets K700A and the K744R4. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.